New tonight, a Maryland man is behind bars after kidnapping and assaulting a woman. The suspect, 62-year-old Dennis Bell, then led Prince George's County Police on a dangerous chase and ultimately crashed his car. Fox 5's David Kaplan is staying ahead of this one. He's live at the Maryland State Police Barracks in College Park. David, such a terrifying experience for the victim. How is she doing? Well, she's... Sierra, we did check with state police. They said that she is in the hospital still recovering. This is police work to piece together what exactly happened here. The woman reported to police that she was forced to be naked all day in this vehicle as this man drove her around is what she said. She said that he even stabbed her fingers with a pocket knife in the course of the day. I want to walk you through what we know chronologically here now at at some point yesterday morning, Maryland State Police say Dennis Bell kidnapped this woman on Minnesota Avenue in Southeast D.C. The woman told police that she was forced to comply with his demands and again was naked all day in this U-Haul as he drove her around to places she did not know where she was going. Take a listen to Maryland State Police. The victim told police that she had no idea why he had demanded that she get into her vehicle and that he drove around literally all day, made a few stops, but kept her against her will inside that vehicle. Okay, so that's during the day. Around 945 last night, according to police, other drivers in the Lanham area saw a U-Haul driving erratically, even hitting other cars. Police tried to stop this U-Haul. Eventually, it crashed into a ditch in a neighborhood in Lanham. Now, state police did not know at the time, we're told, that there was a woman allegedly being held against her will inside the car, making that discovery on Baltimore Lane and Elm Street in Lantham even more shocking to police when she got out of the the car. Talk to Debbie Duckett and her grandson Avery today. Duckett says she actually knew the suspect and never had any issues with him. He even helped her with some landscaping. So she was surprised to hear all of this. Here's Duckett and Avery describing the end of the chase last night. I like heard the tires and um and once I got up I was only seeing the police cars. He was yelling that he was hurt. You know, about he just had surgery or something on his leg. Take it easy, take it easy, but they had him handcuffed. I am happy that it did end here and that the young lady's safe. Uh, too bad it, she went through what happened, but it could have been a lot worse. So I'm glad it wasn't. Dennis Bell faces 33 counts from state police based on what happened yesterday. 19 of those traffic violations, 14 of those related to the alleged kidnapping, charges of sex assault, kidnapping, false imprisonment, as well as possession of what police believe to be crack cocaine. We also reached out to a number listed for someone in Bell's family. They hung up on us once we identified ourselves as Fox 5. They did not return our calls or text for any sort of comment, for any sort of perspective there. Now, state police here in College Park are asking anyone who might have seen or heard anything about this U-Haul at any point yesterday to give them a call as they continue working to piece together this investigation. If we learn anything new, we'll be sure to pass that along to you.